Hey, welcome back for another things to do and just cause three. Today we're gonna be doing cargo drop. Something again I made up. First thing you need to do is get a cargo airplane. You can either drop one if you have it unlocked or somehow find one on the map, never seen one before. Once you have said cargo plane, open up back door. Exit cargo plane. Grab a vehicle. Grab another vehicle. Put vehicles in cargo plane until full. So once you have the cargo plane full, or have all the vehicles you can find around you put in it, and this is all I could find, this base is pretty much empty, we have what, two, four, six, eight vehicles in here, you then go get back in the cab of the cargo plane. Once back inside, we're going to close the back hatch, we're going to turn around, which takes a bit because this thing is freaking ginormous. And they never put it the right way, the way you want it to go, but, you know, life can't be easy. Then, take off. This thing takes off a pretty short distance, you just need a lot of wing room for it. There we go, we are now in there. Uh, I get, will give you one tip that uh, I learned when I first tested this to see if it was even possible was make sure you're fairly high in the sky and you're not pointing towards a mountain. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Just just make sure you got some good clearance in front of you. Because the plane, although they can fly themselves when you stunt jump, they don't always fly the best when you stunt jump. Alright, once you get the cargo plane uh, going at a steady altitude, we're going to say this is pretty good. Oh god, no. Wrong button. I didn't actually want to get out. I want to stunt jump. Um, use the stunt jump button. Not not get out. That could have been horribly bad. <laughs> Come out the other patch and then uh, go in this one. So now you're down in the cargo bay. Which, oh, we're having some issues. So apparently my load has readjusted. Because we have these five here. And that's why there were sparks coming out the back. Okay, well, once you're in here, you can open the door. So, these may fall. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. There goes one. Um, here we go. And that's how we do a cargo drop. Not so much have them stuck up in the back, but uh, have them drop out for sure. See, now, here's the thing you have to watch for. We are now diving hard. So, you don't really notice that when you're in the back. And that's kind of how things went bad the first time. So every now and then you gotta kind of work your way back up to the front. Get back in the vehicle. You can just close the door again. And uh, gain some altitude again. When I first started testing, I had about four or five vehicles in there. And I was just pulling them out, pulling them out, and all of a sudden I died. Because the plane dove down. So, definitely things you need to watch for. And we are going to end up emptying all these vehicles out. Uh, it's way funner to do it over land because uh, you can see them explode. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, the only issue is, again, you do dive towards land. So you see these sparks coming out the back every now and then? No, oh, now they're not going there. Um, that'd be the vehicles that were stuck up in the back because we were dive or climbing at such a high rate. So let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's do a stunt jump this time. And hopefully we don't dive straight into the ground right away. Even though I think we are. So you have to be very fast with this process. Up. Come to the back. Again, you cannot tell if you're level or not right now. Come down. Just grab another vehicle. Just give it a slight pull. Oh, don't even give it a slight pull. 
Okay, we are diving really hardcore here. Um. Um. Okay. I think the weight of the cargo actually has something to do with it. Get, get, get back in the vehicle. Get, get in the vehicle. Holy Jesus. Okay. Woo! Um. Oh, that. We have a Hummer half hanging out. It's like giving birth. Oh, God. It's going to blow up. Oh, please don't blow up the airplane. Oh, God. Oh, good. There he goes. So, cargo drop is not a super easy thing to do. It's a lot of playing around with it, trying to get stuff to work. Um, vehicles are actually pretty stable in there. Other than apparently those first few. Because we're at almost a straight up climb. And nothing's coming out. Oh! Oh, we got one! Woo! That's a long drop. He's still falling. Trying to keep track of him here. We're looking straight down. Yeah, I probably hit the ground by now. So if they ever bring a multiplayer to this game, this would be a definite thing to do with friends. Have one person fly while that person pulls vehicles out of a cargo plane and jumps on them and dives down. I guess you could try to destroy enemies with it if you had a really good at flying it and how it knew how it was going to kind of autocorrect itself. Then you just drop the cars onto their base and blow them up. It'd be good. It'd be good stuff. Alright, here we go. So we're going to go to the back, we're going to get it on a vehicle, and we're going to drive it out. Well, sorry, we're going to attempt to drive it out. Oh, and I forgot to open the door before. Okay. When you get back here, we need to open this door. Open, open. Come on, Rico. Open. Thank you. We'll just get in this truck. And... Cargo drop! Uh, this is probably the highest you'll ever fall in a vehicle. Oh! Oh, I'm getting a farthest stunt jump on this. Oh, that's cool. Farthest jump in a landed vehicle without destroying the vehicle. Um, so there's a way to break some records. Go up as high as you can and do this. We're gonna bail. Bail. Whoa! So has my airplane fallen yet? No, it hasn't. Um, hmm. I would like to see if he does ever come out of the sky. Or is it now that I'm not in the airplane, it's just going to drive straight and not crash? There's a really good chance of that, too. But that was a cargo drop. Using a cargo plane to drop cargo and cars and... I guess any object you could get in there, you can drop out. So if you could trap enemies in there somehow, get their little SUVs in and let them drive around and freak out in there, that'd be good. Maybe put some explosive barrels in there, some civilians. I don't know. Do whatever you want. But thank you for watching and keep watching.